Right now, there is a focus in Georgia on how the storm could impact our coast. Our team coverage picks up with 11 Lives Karis Belger live at GEMA's State Operations Center. Karis, you talked with Governor Kemp about the plans already in place. Yes, so the governor says the state is actively moving resources in place. He also said that while no evacuations have been ordered yet along the coast, he's prepared to make that call if necessary. Yesterday, the governor did declare a state of emergency for all of Georgia. That's now in effect. What essentially this does is free up resources, including National Guard troops, in order to move them across the state if necessary. They're monitoring things in places like Brunswick, St. Simon, and Savannah. They are ready to assist neighboring states like Florida if necessary. Now, the, to help people evacuating Florida, GDOT has already turned all express lanes on I-75 northbound. And the governor told me state offices are also making sure visitor centers and national parks are open as refuge areas for anyone coming into Georgia. And hotels are also prepared for a potential increase in guests. Now, the governor is warning people in the southern part of our state and along the coast especially to be alert alert as the storm approaches. I would just uh, remind Georgians to stay weather alert, uh, especially if you're in the southern half of the state. We think there's going to be certainly uh, a lot of rain and, and not a sustaining high winds, but certainly gust in the 40 to 50 miles an hour. Now, when asked how many people are expected to evacuate to the Atlanta area, the governor said it is too soon to tell, but state officials are monitoring the situation. Karis, we expect a lot of people driving up 75. Thanks a lot.